Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. So the first message that I have for you for the uh, following two weeks here is uh, they're saying there's some restructuring for the better that's going to be happening in your um, professional life, okay? Restructuring basically means change in personnel, changes in positions that are opening up, changes in pay scale, changes in pay grade. So some type of procedural system that has been put into place in a uh, prior time, there's going to be revisions and changes to those as well. So for those of you, I feel like... Um, if you are, if, if there are more people, for example, example coming on board, and if you're working on a client commission basis, you might see a little bit of a um, diminishing, you know, returns on your income, mainly because you know it's um, it's spread am among more people. And then for others of you, I feel like changes in procedures, uh, you might have gone with the flow and you might have like memorized a specific work procedure or a specific legal procedure. There's going to be some revisions in that. And so you're going to have to relearn, you know, wh whatever operating system, whatever procedural changes are put into place. And then for others, I feel like there's going to be contracts here. There's going to be, you know, big decisions made between multiple offers. So I feel like that can be job offers. That can be proposals as well for a change in a pay scale. So for example, if you agree to come on board, I do see salary negotiations. I do see you going back and forth between options, looking at health insurance, looking at perks, looking at benefits as well for a new position. So I feel like you might be offered something, you have to make a decision very fast, very swiftly, and then you're going to need to, you know, be ready to go. So I feel like there's a lot happening here in your work and career sector, okay? The other thing I'm feeling here is um, they're saying, let the past go. Let the past go. It's affecting your current relationship. And um, I feel like relationship is not just love, even though that does come out um, very strongly. I feel like it, it seems to me like you were in a situation in the past where you were not conflict, like, you, you know, you're not conflict driven. There were things that you should have pushed for. There were things that you should have been more assertive about but you weren't and 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 that relationship is done right and you're still kicking yourself over it you're, you're just like i should have done this i should have got, done that i should have like pushed for answers i should have set the record straight i should have you know um set ultimatums for the other person and i feel like you're carrying that um i should have could have you know would have you're carrying that into this new framework in your current relationship and you're just like I was naive before, now I'm going to be, you know, really, really stern and, and very no-nonsense. And they're saying as well, you know, that's great and good. We learn from the past, right? But you're dealing with different people, so you need to soften up your energy a little bit. You need to be a little bit more accommodating, and you also need to, to learn to, you know, not project that past energy into existing relationships, okay? So trust issues as well as um, being too, either too um, passive aggressive or too demanding. And at the same time, you're going to need to be a lot more direct with your communication. So that means stating exactly what you want very early, early on, setting expectations very early on from, for your relationship partner. And, you know, don't deviate from that, okay? So I feel like the, the communication needs to be a lot stricter and it needs to be a lot more direct and um, I want to say like meaningful, okay? So talking, setting boundaries early on, that's going to be really important. So what you're doing, I feel, is establishing a firmer foundation for this new relationship where in the past you might have felt like, oh, I, I was shy, I was embarrassed, I didn't want to talk about this. Now you're going to be no nonsense, you're going to talk about it because you don't want those lessons to come back. Um, you don't want those mistakes from the past, which I feel is good for some of you because you're learning from the past, but I also feel some of you bringing past energy into new relationships so be careful about that okay um what i'm feeling is there are a lot of um they're, they're saying here careers um goals long-term future prospects um you and your partner you have very very different ideas of what success means you have a very different you know view of 
what stability means. And for you, you're building that nest egg. You're doing it slowly, gradually. Your partner is doing the same thing, but I feel like they're not as stable as you are. There's a lot of uncertainty with your partners as it relates to their financial situation. And I also feel for some of you, there's a lot of uncertainty as to your financial situation. So there's something here about finances, career, and work interfering in a relationship where you might not see how you both are going to be able to work together and stay together for the long run if financially you both are still trying to figure things out for yourselves from your respective ends okay so a lot of re-examination reassessment and you know thinking about long-term potential of a relationship that's going to be very crucial i feel a lot of you are very in love with another person but you're not prioritizing the relationship i feel like you downplay its significance in your life because you know you're not a, a warm fuzzy gushy type of a sign you, when you love you love very deeply but you're not somebody that um you know thinks about it like heavily so i feel like every I feel like you might downplay its significance in your life. You might downplay the other person's impact on you. But I feel like they, they, they've they got you on a soft spot. They, they've really hit that soft spot within you. And you're very smitten by this person. And I feel like they know how to rub you the right way. They know how to hit that soft spot. Okay, in Aquarius, once somebody activates that soft spot, um, they've got you for good. So I feel some of you are in that situation where you really, really like somebody and you're just like, no, no, that, that I'm not in love. That's not me. And um, I feel like the other person has really reached you on a deep level. So aside from that, um, they're saying there's going to be a lot of new friends that you're going to be making. So I feel you out and about um, with a lot of people attending a lot, a lot of social function. They're saying for you to not be a wallflower once again, um, socialize, mingle, and really in, uh, take in that experience because I feel like you're going to need to, okay, for your professional and emotional and also verbal, um, I guess intellectual development. It's good for you to be around people. It's good for you to converse. It's good for you to have these smart intelligent conversations and so you have opportunities to do that don't say no to it don't say that oh i'm too lazy i don't want to get dressed to go out don't do that um make the opportunities to you know go out and mingle you're gonna find yourself like surrounded by very good people very positive you know well-meaning people smart people as well so make the opportunities for yourself to get out and mingle okay um the last thing that i want to leave this reading off with here is um I feel like some of you are readying for a move and I feel like it's big. And so from now until October, there's a lot of busy energy. Okay. Don't leave things to the last minute. Take care of things now from now until October. Okay. It's uh, it seems like very big. It feels to me like you need to be on the go. It's like go, go, go at the very last minute. So don't leave things to the last minute. Okay. Um, I wish you the best Aquarius. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.